Hey guys, it's Dan the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today, I'm at El Cortez at their Seagulls 1941 and I'm about to have the most controversial food item, guys. It is their Spam Fried Rice for $18. Spam Fried Rice, guys. That is what you make at home when you're broke because it's cheap. 18 bucks, Spam Fried Rice. Let's give it a try. You have no idea how many times at home that I have made Spam Fried Rice because I had nothing else in the fridge. You know, it's like Spam is magical. You know, it got so much flavor, you know, and, and uh, when you put it in the fried rice, it's all so good, so comforting. Many uh, night times I would just watch TV and eat the spam fried rice. Now, sometimes I eat spam fried on top of white rice. Well, that's so good too. And sometimes I'll fry an egg. Oh boy. Yeah. <sighs> Tap water. Oh, hi. I'll take your spam fried rice. Okay. Right right. Is it really popular? Yeah, actually really good. Yeah? yeah sure. Alright, good. Yeah, good. Alright. Right it's very popular, guys. Of course, because everybody has been broke in their life. You know, everybody, you know, brings you back to the old days of like... Oh, speaking of being broke, I have read that vagrancy is illegal here in Nevada. That's why, guys, the law says you cannot hang out outside the restroom trying to do lewd things and you know like you know like saying like five dollar licky licky you know you, you can't do that guys not here in Nevada or Nevada however you want to pronounce it so while we're waiting for the spam fried rice I'll tell you what I did today today I went and I took the deuce bus down to, uh, my goal was to get to the Planet Hollywood to enjoy the Starbucks and get some Panda Express from the Miracle Mile Mall. For some reason, the bus stopped in front of Caesars and it just wouldn't move, you know, for like a very long time. And it was just getting more and more crowded because people kept coming and getting on the bus. So I got off the bus and I went to the Starbucks at the Link, the Link Promenade. Oh boy, guys, it was like empty. The Starbucks, I thought it was closed. So I walked in, it was open. So I got my uh, usual drink. And the Starbucks for me is free, guys, because of my degenerate compulsive gambling I did last year. Boy, I'm like, I'm a Caesars, what's that called? A Diamond Elite member, which I get four free drinks a day, every single day, like for the rest of the year. My goodness, guys. So, yeah, I take advantage of that. Head down to a Caesar's property and get my four free drinks. And, of course, uh, Starbucks is one. And then for the other drinks, I just took some Red Bulls to go. I have it over here. So you know I ain't lying. The second free drink. The third free drink. and the fourth free drink of today. Now, sometimes I go to Caesars at 11 p.m., hang out for a little bit, then I get my four free drinks, four free drinks, and then right after midnight, I get the other four free drinks, then I bring like eight Red Bulls back to my apartment downtown. So I don't have to go again the next day. Where am I going to put this? Put this right here. Now, do I like Red Bull? You're like, ooh, Danny the Medic enjoys Red Bulls. I do not, guys. It's just that I don't drink alcohol. And uh, some of the most expensive stuff I can get is like Red Bull or Starbucks, you know? Because I'm not going to go get a Pepsi. You know, I can buy a two-liter bottle somewhere. 
And Pepsi is not as good as Coke, so you know, not gonna get Pepsi. Now they do have Fiji water. I could get the uh, I think it's like a one liter bottle of Fiji water for free, and it brings four liters of that back to my uh, you know apartment in the downtown. But you know why? Because I got like a little nozzle thing in the sink called the faucet and water comes out of that for free free guys tap water but that is because uh, it used to be unlimited drinks a day in their diamond lounges called laurel lounges ever since that nonsense of 2020 they closed down all the Laurel lounges and they haven't reopened them since. Terrible guys, terrible. You know, I used to go there like around like four something or whenever the hot food starts and eat the little hors d'oeuvres. It was nice. They had very nice uh, virgin pina colada, virgin strawberry daiquiri. Yeah, those were the days guys. But not anymore. No more. So guys, you know what? It has been quite a while. You don't notice it because you know I, I edit all the rating out. But it has been quite a while and I still haven't gotten the spam fried rice. I'm thinking that they must have sent someone to Walgreens to pick up the spam because they ran out. And if they do that, the spam there is most likely $4.50 or something like that. So they'll knock down their profit. And I'm not even getting the whole can of Spam. You know what? I need to go buy some Spam. Have it at home and just eat it out of the can like... You know, that would be nice. Yeah, it's getting cold in here, guys. I have to put my jacket back on. Oh, thank you. It's looking pretty nice. It looks like a decent amount. Take a closer look. Spam fried rice. And it comes with genuine Kikkoman soy sauce. Let's see if I need it. All right. And it's not just spam on top, it's spam on the inside too. It's so good, guys. It's pretty hot in the center. And it's gonna eat around the top. Mm. Mm. All right. It tastes a little bit sweet for some reason. So let's try the ingredients. First, the Spam. Mm. Now, there is no substitution for genuine Spam. You know, like they have other luncheon meats, but this is real Spam, guys. I can taste the difference. The Spam, Guess a nine. Spam's always excellent. All right, let's try egg. Decent fresh egg. We got some scallions.
Tastes fresh. Tastes fresh, guys. All right, the rice. I think they put sugar in it. I'm gonna try the rice again. Because I never put sugar in my fried rice. Ah, rice. The rice is a little bit sweet. I don't like that. Right? But you can't really taste it when there's a piece of spam and you're chewing it all together. The spam is really salty, so let's get a big spoonful here. Mm. Put it on good, guys. Wow, big slice of onion. Okay. Genuine Kikkoman. It's better without the kikkoman. All right, so if they were to remove the sugar from this recipe, I'll give it a nine. Because it got sugar in it, it's still pretty okay, pretty good. Give it an eight. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me for this very controversial spam fried rice for $18. New Vegas video every Friday.